terrorism in Canadian history. It cost the lives of 329 men, women, and children. They perished that day when a bomb planted in the hold of their aircraft exploded. Meanwhile, a similar bomb intended for another Air India flight detonated at Tokyo's Narita Airport, killing two baggage handlers. Ça a été une journée terrible partout dans le monde. Around the world, it was a truly dreadful day. Let us picture it once more. Most of those on flight 182 were our fellow citizens, Canadians going to India for business or pleasure or family reunions. 82 of those aboard were children, no doubt to be received and shown off with happy pride. Activities familiar to all of us, a journey begun with excitement and hopeful expectations. But that day, the pleasure, the anticipation, the innocence, all of it was snuffed out by an act of grotesque violence and malevolence. And you who are left were handed this heartbreaking loss the burden of which it is all but impossible to calculate. Severed bonds that still ache with the burning sadness of love remembered in empty silence. Ça a été une atrocité, une atrocité. Ça a été une atrocité commise par des gens lâches et motivés par une extrême haine. This was evil, perpetrated by cowards, despicable, senseless, and vicious. I will make no attempt to make sense of it, nor will I speak of roads to healing. Some wounds are too deep to be healed, even by the remedy of time. What I can tell you is this. Votre souffrance et notre souffrance, votre deuil et notre deuil, et alors que s'aggraver votre douleur au fil des ans, notre pays la mieux comprise. Your pain is our pain. As you grieve, so we grieve. And as the years have deepened your grief, so has the understanding of our country grown. Canadians who sadly did not accept at first that this outrage was made in Canada, accept it now. Let me just, just speak for a moment directly to this perception, for it is wrong and it must be laid to rest. This was not an act of foreign violence. Les Canadiens, les Canadiens comprennent maintenant que cet acte terroriste a été conçu au Canada, exécuté au Canada par des citoyens canadiens, et que ces victimes étaient pour la plupart leurs concitoyens et concitoyennes. This atrocity was conceived in Canada, executed in Canada by Canadian citizens, and its victims were themselves mostly citizens of our country. We do wish that this realization had gained common acceptance earlier. However, it is this understanding which guides the actions of our government today. So we have encouraged the building of more memorials, such as the original one I had the honor of visiting in Ireland in 2005, and this one here in Toronto. Et c'est pourquoi le gouvernement du Canada a fait du 23 juin la journée nationale du souvenir des victimes de terrorisme. This is why the government of Canada has made June the 23rd the National Day of Remembrance for Victims of Terrorism. And it is why four years ago, 
In one of the very first acts of our government, we appointed retired Justice John Major to scrutinize without limit the investigation of the bombing of Air India Flight 182. I come now to a difficult place. Commissioner Major reported on the first phase of his inquiry in December 2007. In it, he recorded many personal stories, some that I've heard firsthand from families of the victims. I found their words deeply moving. Et il y a six jours, le commissaire Major rendait son deuxième rapport public. Finalement, nous avons fait un examen approfondi des événements et les conclusions sont profondément troublantes. Six days ago, Commissioner Major issued his second report. You know, I should say Jack took three years of his retirement to do this. It's been a tremendous act of public service. And I think we all should thank him for it. It is, it is finally a thorough examination of events and deeply disturbing. For although Commissioner Major's report runs to 3,000 pages, although it summarizes the testimony of hundreds of witnesses, although it shines a light on institutional processes that the Commissioner referred to in some cases as a dysfunctional focus on self-justification, and in others as slow, intermittent, and acrimonious, it can still be reduced to a few words. This should not have happened. This should not have happened. Cette tragédie n'aurait pas dû se produire. Et 329 gens sont morts. And 329 people went to their deaths one June day in the skies south of Ireland. It is not enough to say that the system failed. Of course it did. But this is to sanitize with words a succession of woeful inadequacies that Commissioner Major calls, I quote, a cascading series of errors. No, it is not enough. Commissioner Major delivered a damning indictment of many things that occurred before and after the fact. Things, ladies and gentlemen, that this government of Canada cannot defend that this government has no wish to defend. And Commissioner Major finds that to make matters worse, the families of the victims were for years after treated with scant respect or consideration by agencies of the government of Canada. C'est pour cela que le gouvernement du Canada, le gouvernement qui a ordonné cette enquête, présente aujourd'hui des excuses. C'était son devoir, et il y a allé de son honneur. These are things for which honor and duty require that the government of Canada, the government that called this inquiry, now apologize. Je vous offre donc des excuses du gouvernement du Canada et de tous les Canadiens et Canadiennes pour les carences institutionnelles qui prévalaient il y a 25 ans et la façon dont les familles des victimes ont été traitées par la suite. I stand before you, therefore, to offer on behalf of the government of Canada and all Canadians an apology for the institutional failings of 25 years ago and of the treatment of the victims of the families thereafter. La protection de ses citoyens est le premier devoir d'un gouvernement. The protection of its citizens is the first obligation of government. The mere fact of the destruction of Air India Flight 182 is the primary evidence that something went very, very wrong. For that, we are sorry. 
for that and also for the years during which your legitimate need for answers and empathy were treated with administrative disdain. Mesdames et Messieurs le Commissaire Major, a fait de nombreuses recommandations importantes. Nous sommes en train de les examiner et nous avons déjà commencé le travail essentiel d'amélioration de la sécurité dans nos aéroports. C'est une question de la plus haute importance pour notre gouvernement afin qu'une telle atrocité ne se reproduise jamais. Ladies and gentlemen, Commissioner Major has made many important recommendations. We are in the course of reviewing them, and we have already begun the vital work of improving safety and security at our airports. It is a matter of the utmost importance that such a thing never happens again. Sadly, we have no way of knowing when, if, or how we may once more be attacked, or by whom. We know only that terrorism is an enemy with a thousand faces and a hatred that festers in the darkest spots of the human mind. And we fear that when we invite from around the world those who share our aspirations for a better life, others also come. Those who see in our Canada not new bridges to a hopeful future, but only another chance to travel the old roads to the blood feuds of the past. Les politiciens de n'importe quelle appartenance politique doivent marginaliser les extrémistes et non s'en rapprocher. And let me address, as the families of the victims have asked me to do, my fellow political leaders of every stripe. It is incumbent upon us all not to reach out to, but rather to marginalize, to carefully and systematically marginalize those extremists who seek to import the battles of India's past here and then to export them back to that great and forward-looking nation. We must have none of it. Just as we must continue the struggle against destroyers and murderers of all kinds, and we will with energy and urgency. Whatever the threat, we must anticipate it. Wherever it comes from, we must be ready for it. Whoever would lift up a perverse ideology by casting down and killing the innocent, we must learn how to thwart them. Le plus beau leg que nous pouvons laisser à vos proches et de leur permettre de voyager en toute sécurité. Let me say that again. The finest memorial we can build to your loved ones is to prevent another Flight 182. This, this is our duty to you and to all Canadians. Je voudrais remercier les victimes, les familles des victimes, pour m'avoir invité ce soir. I want to thank the victims' families for inviting me here this evening and for having kept this issue alive so that it would be at long last examined and so that we would all be better served. Merci beaucoup. God bless all of you. And God keep our land glorious and true. Prime Minister Stephen Harper, ladies and gentlemen, the Premier.